Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Kalimi09. Today guys, uh, I'm going to give you another information about foreign coins. Uh, this coin is uh, from USA, one cent Lincoln penny. You know, my fellow hunters, because of uh, World War II, the US government was in dire need to cover in order to produce ammunition for the ongoing war, consequently. In 1942, the Mint ceased producing copper cents, and by 1943, the U.S. Mint began producing steel cents for the first and only time in its entire history. During the transitions from 1942 to 1943, there were uh, several copper planchets left over from 1942, and the Mint accidentally struck some of these copper planchets with 1943 dated dies in return it struck one of america's most coveted coins the 1943 copper cents just like many others have heard the stories of the most expensive coin being the 1943 copper cent i also heard similar stories at least two or three times before i started collecting coins however Every time I heard the stories, the details were somewhat different and the coin's value ranged from $10,000 to $1 million. Just like the 1943 copper cent, stories captured my attention. They have also managed to capture the imagination of tens of thousands of individuals worldwide and who know how many people collect coins today? Partly because of the 1943 copper cent stories. Despite the great stories of the 1943 copper cents, the truth is that uh, the coin is not worth a million dollars or anywhere close to that figure, at least not in the year 2009 or any other time before that. There are uh, some who feel the 1943 copper cent will uh, definitely be a million dollar coin someday but before that my uh, fellow hunters in my opinion some of the few most expensive Lincoln cents which would be worth more than the 1943 copper cents are the 1958 double die cent the 1974 aluminum cent or the 1943d copper cent which is unique Coincidentally, the highest price paid for any Lincoln cent is a 1944S. Lincoln cent struck in steel, which realized 373750000 dollars at public auction in 2008. Imagine that. This coin was in high mint state condition, which had... A major impact on the price it realized but many believe the 1943d copper would command much more if it were to sell primarily because it is unique the unique 1943d copper cent previously sold in an ira and larry goldberg coin auction for 212 750 back in february of 2003 Nevertheless, after the 2003 and up to 2009, hundreds if not thousands of coins have broken old price records. Due to the high value of a genuine 1943 copper cent, tens of thousands of 1943 cents have been replated or different cents from the 1940s have been altered to make them appear as a genuine 1943 copper cent a regular 1943 steel cent, even if coated in copper, will stick to a magnet. If a 1940 cent appears to be copper and it does not stick to a magnet, it should be sent into PCGS for authentication. It is uh, estimated that there are only about 20 examples known of the 1943 copper cents, therefore making it a truly rare coin. So, what are you waiting for, my fellow hunters? Go check it out, your collection. No? 
1943 1944 one cents and also we will going to check here uh, in our and that mr.com one cent steel set uh-huh here is the picture of these coins standard circulation coin 1943 1944 one cent zinc clad steel is the composition of these coins Ayan, so mga countries, ang dapat yung titignan dito tulad ng ating uh, sinabi kanina yung ating mga sinabi kanina no? uh, ito po ay transition error no? kaya po naging uh, rare ang 1943 na ito kasama din yung 1944 sabi nga eh uh, mahigit 20 lang ang na-struck nito kasi nga kinakapos na ng uh, uh, tawag dito ng metal yung USA kasi nga sa digma ang nagaganap kailangan nilang magtipid no sabi dito sa comments the 1944 sea coated steel sent is a transitional error which occurred during the change over from sink coated steel back to bronze the most uh, noticeable variety in this year of steel sense in the 1943d with the prominent double mint mark so ibig sabihin din ito yung 19 uh, 43D varieties po yan, barya, kagaya ng ating ginagawa na pinakikilala sa inyo sa ating mga BSP series coins. Ayan po siya. Ang uh, makikita sa D, sa mint mark na D ay yung double mint mark siya, 1943. So, varieties po yan. Ang composition po dapat niyan ay isang bronze, mga ka-hunters. Kasi nga, eh, uh, transition error. Dapat nga, magiging metal na lahat. Kaya lang, may disgrace na isa lang, eh, no? 1944, yung walang meat mark, 0.3% no, struck with wrong metal, around 28 examples lang, oh, 29 examples lang. Tapos yung 1944 D, yan, 0.9%, pito lang example mga ka-hunters. At yung 1944 S, 0.09, struck with wrong metal, 2 examples labang. So napaka rin na po niyan mga ka-hunters. Yan po yung tinutukoy natin na pag nahanap ka ninyo, Malamang hindi pa nakikita yung mga yan. Yung iba nakita na na-auction na nga at umabot na ng milyon kung i-convert sa pera natin. Diba? So, pag meron ka niya, malay nyo, may naligaw dito sa atin. Abay, check nyo na, no? 1943-1944. Bronze po dapat. Alright, mga kandres, yan na po ang ating informasyon ngayong araw. Huwag kalilimutang mag-join sa ating membership na sa ganoon. Ipapasok kayo sa ating mga group chat at dito sa ating Facebook page so kalilimutang mag-subscribe and follow para updated po kayo kapag meron po akong bago mga upload na mga informasyon at content hanggang dito na lang, God bless you all I'm out